Hey Earth Signs and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is uh, going to be a very special love pop-up reading for you guys, okay? So for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is for you. Cross watchers, this is for you as well if you are involved with a earth sign, okay? Um, so this is for those of you that are in any type of relationship, marriage, engagement, serious relationship, dating, talking phase, situationship, this is for you. So go ahead and think about the person um, that you are involved with, the energies you want to pick up on. And we are going to go ahead and get started. Like the video, you guys. Again, subscribe, comment. I comment back. Honestly, the more that you interact with the content on this channel, the more it puts your energy into it. And I am more likely to pick up on your situation, okay? Um, so yeah, so Earth Signs. I do want to say when I was shuffling the tarot deck for you guys, the Ace of Pentacles popped out. So here you are showing up in your own reading because that is Earth Energy. The Ace of Pentacles is also um, something very valuable or like an offer. So someone could be viewing you as very valuable, whoever your partner is, or you are viewing them as valuable, um, or the connection to the relationship. I also saw the Justice card, which is Libra energy. And right after that, I saw the Knight of Cups. So someone could be trying to um, apologize or come in as the Knight of Cups and offer you this stable opportunity, okay? This stable love offer with the Justice card and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Um, it's very general, so flip the energies as you see fit. Now, I'm holding this card out here because it just popped out, of course, while talking to you guys. And this is also a card that I kept seeing while I was pre-shuffling the wisdom deck. So this is yin energy. This is very um, feminine energy, very poised, balanced, very um, just subtle and alluring and attractive type of energy. This is harmony and balance. So this could be what's going on between you and your person right now. They could be viewing you as this, okay? Um, if you are the masculine, you're viewing your feminine as, you know, this type of energy or vice versa. But I'm going to put it back. The intention is to pull one wisdom card for you guys. But let's see how many cards Spirit wants you to have just to get an overall message for what's going on between you and your partner, okay? So what do we have for my earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn? Oh, there we go. So you guys have unfinished symphony. All right. So whatever sort of situation, relationship you are in, you or the other person or both of you guys are feeling as if you guys have some unfinished business. So I don't know. There could be a separation um, or something just kind of seems incomplete here. All right. So we'll put this aside, go into the energy deck. Now at the bottom of this deck, before we move on, we do have to be fair. So this is just the same as that justice card I saw uh, for you guys when I was pre-shuffling. This is also about balancing out the scales here. So maybe something needs to be balanced out. Um, maybe someone, your other person or you or both of you guys are working on or needing to balance something out here. Um, but there is some unfinished business going on. All right. So let's see what's going on with the energy deck. I did pre-shuffle these cards, you guys, and look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have Karen Connection. So your person is viewing this as a very Karen Connection, or you are viewing this, both of you guys. This could be mutual energy, um, but it kind of feels like a soulmate type of con connection. For the energy right now, you both could be feeling very lovey-dovey, very into each other. But again, there's some sort of... Um, Blockage or separation because of that um, that unfinished symphony card. I split the deck and we have Healer of the Ages and Karen Connection. So maybe you guys are working on healing this connection, healing a part of your relationship. Um, yeah, so let's keep going and see. So I'm going to put one card for you, Earth Signs, one card for your partner, and then in the middle will be the mutual energy. Because it is very general, flip it how you see fit. So if this is supposed to be for you but is resonating with your par partner, just go ahead and flip it, okay? So let's see. What do we have for my earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn? What's going on, Spirit? One card for the earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn. Y'all got a lot that's like trying to pop out here, but it's not. So there could be, again, some sort of blockages in the relationship right now. So the card you guys have is Rest and Rejuvenate. Okay, so you guys um, could be working on yourselves right now. You could be working on 
maintaining some sort of um, maintaining or obtaining or both some sort of balance within yourself. This card also um, is like a card of meditation, alignment, getting your mind right, your body, your spirit, everything and align as a whole. Um, so yeah, this is your energy. Let's see what your partner's energy is. I do see the thinking woman at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you guys are trying not to overthink the situation. You're trying to let it rest. Or again, this is a card of um, like a rest period or a break. Okay. There's some sort of intermission going on here. So maybe you're just trying to get your mind right or get something aligned within yourself. Let's see what your partner's energy is for my earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, okay. So the intention was one card and I got two. This card flipped out. And this is the broken heart card, okay? It's the broken heart card, but it's also um, the card of either this person's heart is breaking or they're trying to work on like mending their heart back together or mending this relationship back together. But overall, this is a card of disappointment, of heartache, heartbreak. There's something that's bothering your partner here. Um, if it is, of course, some sort of like blockages or separation or whatever it is, that could be what it is there. Crazy enough, what came out with this broken heart card is the man holding the heart. So I'm getting with this the energy of mending, like mending the heart back together. So maybe your person is working on mending their heart back together or wanting to mend your heart back together or the relationship in general, because the man holding the heart here, um, and it could definitely be the woman holding the heart. It's a very general reading, um, but this is showing up for your partner. The man holding the heart is like someone who kind of like has their heart on their sleeve or ready to offer you this love, very romantic, kind of like, um, kind of like very mushy um for you in the palm of your hands type of energy is what i'm picking up here so yeah that's kind of tying into that knight of cups and that ace of pentacles and the justice card like somebody's trying to um come in and heal or fix something here and it looks like you are in the energy of the same thing but maybe you're just trying to heal yourself okay from whatever this whatever happened whatever this was at the bottom of the deck we have the woman holding a coin okay so again this is you earth sign showing up in your own reading this is pentacle energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, so, of course, this is you um, or your partner. You could be dealing with another earth sign as well. Um, but this is also a woman of values. This is, um, it's almost as if this person views you as very valuable. The woman holding the coin and the ace of pentacles, like it doesn't really get better than that. But let's see what the mutual energy is between you guys for my Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the mutual energy between the connection spirit? Okay, so that wanted to pop out, but it didn't. I just want to see what it was. Okay, so angel of balance. Yeah, there's there's just a little bit of rocky waters here. Like you guys are trying to maintain balance or something's interfering with the balance of the connection because it showed his face, but it flipped back over. So I'm not going to take it. Um, but a lot of balance, balancing of the scales, Libra energy, justice energy that's showing up here. Like somebody wants to um, make some sort of amends or write something, write some sort of wrongs here. Okay. All right, let's see one card for the mutual energy okay it took a minute for this card to come out and we have the thinking woman this is the same card that was at the bottom of the deck when we pulled the rest and rejuvenate card here um so as a mutual mutual energy the thinking woman you guys are both very heavily in your head about this connection you're thinking about them they're thinking about you you're analyzing things um there's a lot of air energy, which could be that Libra too, because Libra is an air sign. There's a lot of air energy here. Um, you could have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or your partner or both, okay? Y'all, at the bottom of the deck, you saw me still shuffle these cards, right? The angel of balance, it showed his face. It did not want to come out. And obviously it's meant to come out. Um, everything here is screaming balance. It feels like um, the connection, like you guys are striving to recreate some sort of balance here, whether it's individually, together or both individually you know your own lives and together here but um yeah you both are definitely thinking about each other thinking about this it's kind of like you're mirroring each other's energy here but let's see let's get a card for rest and rejuvenate for the earth signs what do we have spirit for the earth signs rest and rejuvenate tell me a little bit more and this is actually, um, yeah, this is your side. So 
I won't take all of these uh, cards, but as you can see, what kind of tried to flip over here is the Magician card. This is actually the card of Virgo and Gemini. Okay, so manifesting some sort of, I'm getting manifesting peace here. So this is showing up for you guys' uh, energy right here. So you're trying to manifest peace, a peace of mind. It feels like it's very personal within yourself. It can be within a relationship as well. Then you got the Page of Pentacles, which is you again, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is a new start. Pages are very basic starting over from like the ground up but being very optimistic very adventurous um just looking forward to the future then you got the three of wands here so this is you trying to achieve something obtain something it feels like it's the peace and balance okay maybe there was just a lot of in the head energy a lot of overthinking a lot of confusion and there's a uh, connection or relationship and then we have the empress card okay so this makes me feel like this is libra taurus energy as well um, this makes me feel like you are just kind of focused on being your best self for yourself and possibly for this connection as well, Earth Signs. Then we got the Moon card, we have the Hangman, and we got the Ten of Cups, okay? So yeah, it seems like with the Moon card, this is something that you're working on behind the scenes here. Um, you might be really low-key, especially paired with this Hangman energy, kind of just like preserving your energy, isolating yourself, um, working on you or working on this connection in secret. And then we have the Ten of Cups, so... I feel like some of you guys are just really trying to make sure that you are happy so that you can be um, whole as a person in this connection, come in together with this person um, to complete them or, you know, yeah, to complete them is what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck, you know what? I'll go ahead and keep all these cards. I'm not even going to pull again for it because it makes sense. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So more Earth energy. You guys are showing up like crazy in your own reading. Um but this is longevity okay this is happy wife happy life happy household kids grandparents all that good stuff um this is also the second ten you have the ten of cups now you have the ten of pentacles so something is nearing a completion here it seems like you are very close or you guys are very close to achieving something and then i had split the deck and at the top right here is the higher font so more taurus energy again another earth sign but this symbolizes um commitment as well kind of hand in hand with this ten of pentacles energy all right let's see what's going on for your partner over here with the man holding the heart and a broken heart what's going on for my earth signs also what i'm getting with this um with these energies here I mean, I know this is clarifying you, Earth Signs, but the Page of Pentacles and the Empress, like I was saying, it's like your person, you view your person this way or they view you this way, um, but your person is kind of like this child-like type of energy, or they may just be like um, a little less experienced or skilled in love or in life or in some aspect than you are, because it's like they're looking up to you as the empress and if i'm not mistaken either your monthly your july reading or july preview reading this same energy came out with the page of pentacles looking up to the empress here okay um so you could be a little bit intimidating to your partner is what i'm getting do see the three of swords at the bottom of the deck as i'm shuffling for your partner which is just like this broken heart energy so your partner is feeling a lack, feeling some sort of loss um, without you or whatever this break in communication or break in the relationship is. But let's see. What do we have for my earth signs? Spirit, what do we have for the partner of my earth signs? Okay, so we got the queen of swords. All right, so you could have cut this person off here. Um, the queen of swords energy is someone who, you know, she set boundaries um, she cuts people off. She kind of just get rid. She gets rid of what and who is no longer serving her or getting in the way of like her peace of mind, her balance. So there could have been some sort of cut off in communication. That is air energy as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. More Pentacles showing up here. Um, I feel like, yeah, there was just some sort of like official ending here with the Knight of Pentacles. It feels like this is your partner. Um, you can definitely be dealing with another earth sign. That's kind of like slowly, but surely slow and steady trying to make amends or fix something here. They could have, um, fears of you cutting them off as well. If you have not, um, but let's see this thinking woman is a mutual energy. You guys are both like in your head about each other. Let me pull a card for the thinking woman for my earth signs. What's going on with the thinking woman? Okay, so you guys have the the six of cups. Wow. Okay, so I I just heard, can we make it 
like it was. Um, specifically, pretty, pretty Ricky. I don't know if that was the title of the song, "Make It Like It Was" or something like that. So, "Pretty Ricky" could be significant. "Can We Make It Like It Was" could be significant. The Six of Cups is actually the cups of the um, the cups, the card of the past. So, you have some sort of history with this person. You could have children with this person. Um, but it's crazy because the Six of Cups is nostalgic type of energy. This is you, you know being in your head remembering like the good times or memories of this person and you have the thinking woman it's the same energy so you both are missing each other you both are missing things the way they used to be you both want to make it like it was y'all look what's at the bottom of the damn deck the ten of cups all over again okay so you could definitely have a family with this person but overall it feels like you guys make each other very happy here there's potential here um there's like a longing for one another here okay i'm gonna wrap it up for you guys and pull a divine doors card just to see what extra messages doors of opportunity okay it's coming in for this connection spirit what do we have for my earth sign taurus virgo capricorn you actually got two cards so you have a sunset time here turns to release and unfurl Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Pass this card on. Sunset. So it feels like there's some sort of joy, okay, and brightness coming into this connection here. Like things are going to get better um, as the sun is setting. I'm actually feeling like sunrise, but it's the cutting of old cords and pain. It says that it's fading. So whatever sort of balance is trying to happen here or whatever's trying to be mended, it seems like that's coming in for you guys. The other card is a moment's joy. It says, sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in bliss of the heart's will. Okay, a moment's joy. A moment lasts forever. This is kind of giving me the, the vibes of the memories that you guys are having of one, one another. Um, and the good times that you that you either currently have, okay, or you had. There's just a lot of emphasis on remembering the good times. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. It says, a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups and happiness. Three cheers are done. Celebration is near. So, yeah, there's really nothing left to be said here. It th it seems like things are a bit rocky right now, but it does feel like it's going to get better really soon for you guys, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Please leave me a comment if this is your message. Like the video, um, share and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.